We will do some questions on differential rate law in this video. So before that, we will revise on what is differential rate law. Differential rate law is rate is equal to k concentration of a raised to the power of x. As we have learned before also, k is the rate constant and x is the order of the reaction. And order of the reaction is something we determine experimentally and it has nothing to do with the stoichiometry of the reaction. And uh, depending on the order of the reaction, K takes uh, different units. And it is important to know the units of K because from the units of K, I can get the order sometime. Let's do our first question on differential rate law. A reaction and its rate law are given below. Calculate the new rate, A, when the concentration of B is doubled and uh, while the concentration of A is constant. And second is, concentration of A is tripled while concentration of B is constant. And the rate uh, law for the reaction is K, concentration of A raised to the power of 2, concentration of B. That means the reaction is order 2 respect to A and order 1 respect to B. So let's uh, handle the first question. In this case, the concentration of B is double, concentration of A is constant. Therefore, the new concentration of B is written as 2B. So, the old rate will be K as given as K a to the power of 2B. The new rate will be substitute the value of B as 2B. And then divide the two rates and you get that the new rate is twice that of the old rate. Let's handle the B part of it. This is the case in which concentration of A is tripled. And note that uh, the reaction is order 2 with respect to A. As usual, uh, write the old rate. The new rate in this case will be K 3A raised to the power of 2B. So, point to be noted here is, within the bracket, remember to put the tripled concentration of A. Like the 3A is within the bracket and the 2 uh, it's raised to the power of 2 involves a 3 also. So when you calculate this, the answer comes as 9. And hence the new rate will be 9 times the old rate. Let's do the another question on differential rate law. The rate constant for a reaction is 4.65 mole liter inverse second inverse. What is the overall order of the reaction? This is basically a very simple question. The only thing you have to remember is the unit of rate constant is given. And we know that as I keep saying, the rate constant unit is related to the order of the reaction. Refer to the table, you will see that the unit K mole liter inverse second inverse belongs to zero order reaction. Hence, the order of the reaction is zero. We will do another question now. From the data data given below for the reaction, 3A plus 2B giving you C plus 2D, write down the differential rate law. So this is a question in which the rate law is not given and you are asked to write the rate law. So some data is given. So what do we do? Just write down the rate, differential rate law for this will be rate equals K, concentration of A and concentration of B. And you see that A is raised to the power of X and B is raised to the power of Y. That means we need to get the orders of the reaction. So unless and until I get the order of the uh, reaction, I will not be able to write the uh, differential rate law. So in order to get the orders, look at the table given. You see that when uh, the concentration of A is kept constant, like trial 1 and 3, concentration of B is doubled. And there is another one in trial 1 and 2 when the concentration of B is kept constant and concentration of A is changed. So using these, we will be able to get the order. So if I divide rate 2 by rate 1, the, uh, y, uh, the, uh, the order Y or the concentration of B gets cancelled and I am left with 3 equals 3 to the power of X. And hence, x is equal to 1, or the order of the reaction with respect to A is 1. 
So to get the value of y, divide rate 3 by rate 1 and I get the value of y equal to 2. Hence the rate of the reaction is k, concentration of a raised to the power of 1, concentration of b raised to the power of 2 and the order of the reaction respect to a is 1, with respect to b is 2 and the overall order is 1 plus 2 equal to 3. So we will do one more question. From the data given for A plus 2B giving you C, calculate the order of the reaction and also calculate the rate constant. And a table is given with different trials 1, 2 and 3. And no down in this case, they are not asking you to calculate just the order, they are asking you to calculate the rate constant also. But we will proceed similarly. We will first get the order of the reaction using the different trials. So the equation is rate equals k concentration of A raised to the power of x and concentration of B raised to the power of y. And we are trying to find out x and y. So if I divide rate 2 with by rate 1, concentration of B gets cancelled and uh, I get the order x as 0. Or in other words, the reaction is independent of the concentration of A. And then to get to the value of y, divide rate 3 by rate 1 and the concentration of A gets cancelled and I am left with y, the value of y as 2. So the overall order of the reaction is 2. Now to get the value of rate constant, just pick up one of the trials. So let us just take up the trial number 1. Rate is written as k, concentration of A raised to the power of 0 because we just found out that order with respect to A is 0 and then B raised to the power of 2 because order with respect to B is 2. Substitute all the values in it. The concentration of A is 0.25, concentration of B is 0.45 and when you calculate the value of k, it comes as 42.27 liter mole inverse ma minute inverse which in accordance with what we have learned before a second order rate law unit for k.